Hello YouTube, this is the fifth video in our HTML5 Canvas animation tutorial series. In this video basically we're going to be um, drawing an image and we're going to be rotating it. Use this draw image rotation function that we have here. Um, I wrote the function beforehand because it's really complicated um, and I didn't want to write it out while I was explaining it. Um, so what I, I basically just wrote it out beforehand and I'm going to explain it um, now. So here I, I changed, this was spaceship in the last tutorial, but this is now image. I gave it a new variable name and I downloaded a star um, GIF here. Um, you can really use any image you want. I just use a smaller one so that it wasn't so um, hard on the computer. But um, we have a, our loop function and then inside that we're clearing our rectangle and then we're calling this function. Um, this function takes six parameters. The first is the image object, the second is the x and y location that you want to draw the rotating image. And then the next two are the width and height of the image. Um, you can set those as the default width and height of the actual image. And then the, the sixth is the um, degree that it should be rotated each frame. Um, so basically, we go down here, um, we can see that those parameters get passed to the following variables, image, x, y, width, height, and degree. Um, so in this first line here, we convert degrees into radians by dividing pi by 180 and then multiplying it by the number of degrees and that'll give us a radian value um, and then we basically we use this translate method which moves the canvas um, the x value that was given plus the width of the image and then the same with the y value um, this sets the image to it moves the canvas around so that the origin of the canvas is at the center of the image. Um, so the can the origin of the canvas moves from this corner to right there, and then this image is going to be rotating around the origin because the way the rotate function works is it rotates around the origin. So then we rotate the given number of radians. The rotate method takes a one parameter, which is a radian value, and then we draw our image. Um, and we draw it at a location that is um, kind of to the left and above the origin. Okay, um, so you can just copy that down. All right, and then we, um, after we've drawn the image onto our canvas, we undo that rotation that we just did. Um, and then we undo that translate that we did. So we're basically just doing the opposite of that. We're taking these values and multiplying them by negative one, taking this value and multiplying it by negative one. Um, so that just kind of cancels out the effect that we just did so that we can draw stuff after we call this function uh, without having to deal with a translated and rotated canvas. And so um, I would recommend keeping this function here and uh, so that you can use it in the future because it's very useful and they're really hard. It's really hard to find a function online or to figure it out yourself. Um, I had to actually look it up myself because I was having a lot of trouble figuring it out. That's what um, this was, uh, and I can link to this, to this in the description. This is a Stack Overflow post, basically. I just um, adapted his code, but um, yeah, so. Uh, that should help you with your rotating images. Um, you can also rotate around this point, like by um, rotating an image like this, but um, that's not really what you want to do most of the time. Most of the time what you want to do is rotate around a point. And um, as you can see, we can move that point around here. and it's still rotating around that point. Um, this translation and rotation of the canvas is necessary 
um, for it to um, move around the center point. If we get rid of that part, um, it just kind of flutters around. Okay. So there you go. Um, just make sure you copy down that function and save it for later when you'll need it, because I'm sure you probably will. Um, yeah, that's it for this video, and the next one will be um, working with keyboard uh, clicks, keyboard events, um, moving an object around using keystrokes, um, primarily WSD and arrow keys. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video, though. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.